but to wrap up the whole question, what is Semenyak actually like? We would say it's... Good morning from Semenyak. So the last videos that we did, we were exploring on Nusa Panita, Nusa Lumbongan, and Nusa Chenigan. And it's been a couple of days since then, we've got the ferry back over and now, yeah, we're checking out Semenyak because we've had quite a few questions. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in Changu, as you guys know, a lot of time in Ubud. But people always ask, like, where does Semenyak fit into that equation? What is it actually like? Gateway Bali. <laughs> like, it is Bali, but it's not quite Bali. So we'll show you a little bit as to, like, how that all makes sense. Starting off with a swim. The place that we're staying at is a little bit on the outskirts so i probably wouldn't recommend it because we've got a scooter we can just like shoot in and shoot out the spot that we stayed in last time in seminary was awesome and really cheap and really well located as well so i'll leave a link to that below if you want to check that out basically start off with a bit of a swim and then go in and see what all this like eating drinking shopping seminary glamorous lifestyle is all about Did you film yourself splash? Yeah, I'm filming right now. <laughs> Who's partying? This is a pretty good start for what you get in Semenyak though. As you'd see, just driving through the streets, there's just shops and cafes absolutely everywhere. And the quality that you get is almost like the upmarket version of what you would have in New Zealand or Australia. It may be like a slightly cheaper price, but in terms of price, it's more expensive in Semenyak than it is in places like Changu and Ubud by maybe another 20% or so. Plus, they often add on the service charge. Fortunately, Coffee Cartel doesn't, which is quite nice. just goes over. What are they printed with? It's, it's literally like a printer. Is it printing? Like a laser jet printer. What is it printing? Oh, sorry, I don't know what that is, no. It tastes exactly the same, by the way. So we've had our food arrive. One other thing that I forgot to mention is on the menu, it even has protein, carbs, and fats. So the fact that that is on there probably helps summarize a little bit, like the type of vibe that you get. So that was 220,000 rupee for the whole meal. My food was amazing. Poached eggs with beef brisket. Oh, this thing is so good. So, uh, what did you get again? I got a, it was called a McMuffin. <laughs> I don't know if that's legal. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really nice. Could be some copyright claims on that one. Yeah. Yeah, amazing food. Just It's just like top quality. And that is something that I love about Semenyak. Although, to be fair, to give Changu some credit, it is straight up there as well, for sure. Um, Main Street now, you reckon? Yeah, I reckon go it's going to cover your ears go see some shops <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of shopping
This place is called Seminyak Square. Looks like they're even getting H&M up there. That's crazy. This is right in the heart of Seminyak. Actually, last night, see that little sign there that says Spring Spa? We went and had a couple's massage. That's the best place to go. But this is like one of the few inside air conditioning places. And I don't know a hell of a lot about brands, but there's quite a few in here. Bamboo Blonde, I think Stace likes that one. I don't know, I'm making this stuff up. <laughs> We're only in here because we parked downstairs in the car park, basically. So we're just walking down now what's... What we think is probably one of the main walking, shopping, like... Collective street walking streets. <laughs> that, that's the male, the male way of explaining, like, a main street. So it's basically just resorts, cafes, bars, restaurants. Lots of construction because it just seems to be that the street is just growing in popularity. <laughs> Look at these guys up the ladders. Yep, see ya. See ya. That looks safe. One thing that we can't really do is just film a whole bunch of shops. It'd be a bit boring for everybody watching, and most of you guys probably aren't interested in that anyway, but something that you do find is walking around these streets is the taxis. There is quite a bit of hustle. Even though these are all like air-conditioned shops, there is definitely a lot of hustle around here trying to get you into the taxis. If you come to Seminyak, you have to say this, but if you come to Bali, the only taxi you should get in is the ones that actually say Bluebird Group. Is that right? Yes. There's Bluebird Group, not just a blue taxi, not blue taxi, but Bluebird Group. They're the only ones that will go on the meter and not completely rip you off. And we have been ripped off before. The only other thing, way that you can do it is to get a grab or to download the app called Gojek and then it tells you, just like how Uber does, Gojek is like the local currency here. You can order food through it, you can jump on the back of a motorcycle with it, you can have somebody come to your house and give you a massage or like clean your house. So just please be careful. Oh, I've lost Stace. It's just me. It's just me and you now. <laughs> hello. 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 Vital. Yeah, water is vital. It's so hot outside. It's like you go. Start going into stores. You start going into stores just because you need a bit of air conditioning. <laughs> just hang out in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> Just let me, I can't decide which bottle of water I want, so I might just spend the whole day with it. <laughs> How much? 12,000. Was it? 12,000? Yeah. I've already forgotten, which is what, $1. twenty. For us, that's a bigger bottle than normal. You can also get a, a full size, like 1.5 litre for that price, but we don't want to carry it, so you're not paying a little bit more. He wandering? Oh, this cute little, little baby bottle. <laughs> I feel like already, I'm not going to lie, it's only been about 30 minutes we've been walking around. I feel like we're already pretty close to being tapped out. Oh, Stacey's tapped out. If you're into the shopping stuff, you could spend forever walking around here. So this bit's coming a little bit abruptly. <laughs> We got hit by the tropical Bali rainstorms. So that meant that our plans in Seminyak, which we were planning on going to either a beach club, because there's two or three right in the heart of Seminyak, or to the beach for sunset. Uh, there's a really nice area there, Double Six Beach, um, that has got perfect spots for sunset. Those would have been good things to show that you can also do other than just cafes, bars, and food, and drinking, and shopping, and everything in that area. But um, it is what it is. So jump ahead a couple of days now and we are back in Changu and we're staying in a really, really nice accommodation. So we want to share that in the next video. But to wrap up the whole question, what is Semenyak actually like? We would say it's more Instagram, more upmarket, pricier, probably more walkable, 
and more similar to Australasia than it is the rest of Asia. So I sort of joked at the start that it's a bit of like a gateway place and I still feel like it really is a bit of like a gateway into Bali. When we first traveled and were working nine to five, Seminyak was the first place that we went to and we absolutely loved it. Now that we travel full time and we like a little bit more culture and a bit more of a mixture, we go to Seminyak and we're like, we like it, but we wouldn't spend a huge amount of time there. So take that as you will and feel free to leave any questions below if you're like not sure if it fits your vibe or happy to answer. But we will see you in a couple of days time for the next video when we show you this place, which is honestly very cool. So thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the comments. Bye.